hey what's up guys welcome to mtech viral again and this is my uh, python fifth tutorial and this is uh, the starting of python advanced tutorials so i'll cover uh, the advanced topics in this series of tutorials now and we have covered the basics till now and you can check my basic tutorials of pythons and uh, i am trying to you know give the um, as much as explanation i can give so we will start with functions with this video and uh, uh, it will consist of explaining what a function is in python and how to create one and functions will be one of our main building blocks when we construct larger and larger amount of code to solve problem so what is a function so formally a function is a useful device and that groups together a set of statements so they can be uh, run more than once okay so means you're using the code okay they can also let us specify parameters that can serve as inputs to that particular function okay and on a, a more fundamental level functions allow us to uh, not have to repeatedly write the same code again and again so if you remember back uh, to that uh, video when we talk about strings uh, that uh, strings and list remember that we used a function length there and to get the length of a string and to length, get the length of the list so since checking the uh, length of a sequence it's a common task you would want to write a function that can do this repeatedly at uh, command okay so function will be one of the most basic uh, levels of uh, reusing the code in python and it will also allow us to start thinking of program uh, uh, start do oh, sorry uh, start doing what i was talking about so function will be one of the most basic levels of using code in python it will also allow us to start thinking of program uh, design we will dive much more deeper into the ideas of design how to uh, you know design a good code and uh, what whatever we will cover in the uh, object uh, oriented programming so we will uh, definitely give it a look there but let's now start with functions so in function we write def and statements okay so what is this so let's see how to build a function so its syntax is uh, like def my function this will be my function name my fun and I can have parameter here so let's say I have this parameter which is default okay now I can write the doc string here which is by three uh, three commas okay and then I can perform any operation here like print let's say param one okay so this is how my function looks like so there is a def keyword which is used for function then the function name then any parameter can go here then we define the doc string by using three quotes and uh, which basically which means that what this function is all about and then we can perform any operation if we want so uh, we begin with our def so then uh, space followed by the name then uh, uh, and just remember that you have to try to keep these names relevant for example length is a good name for a length function len okay so also be careful with names you wouldn't want to call a function the same name as a built-in function in python such as len so if there is already a len then we, i don't want to create another len okay so next uh, come a pair of parentheses with a number of arguments separated by a comma so this is param1 so there can be param2 and so on so these arguments are the inputs of for your function so you'll be able to use these inputs in your function and uh, reference them so after this you put a colon okay so i just missed the colon here so that's why it is <laughs> giving me an error so this is how you uh, did in if else also so you will uh, do the same thing here now uh, here is the important step you must intend to begin the code inside your function correctly otherwise python make uh, because python makes use of white uh, space to organize code so you don't you can't write this like uh, uh, you can't 
write this like this okay oh sorry it just let's copy this and you can't write this like this it will give you an error because python works on indentation okay so this is what i meant so uh this is the doc string which i already told you so this is where you write a basic description of the function so uh this is all about functions and now let's say uh, we are uh, we will write a simple hello function okay so let's say def hello and it will not have any uh, parameter and let's print hello okay now to uh, call this function we will say hello that's it and now let's run this program and we have got the output hello okay so this is our uh, hello function now we can expand on this by using the return keyword if we want to uh, return something so let's say I will say give me hello okay so this is how you write functions with multiple words like uh, we say it like first word is a uh, start with small and then with a capital letter okay so this is how we will do this and let's say we have this give me hello and I can say return hello okay and now what I will how I will call it call it I'll say result is equal to give me hello and then I'll print that result okay so this is another type of function so it again returned me hello okay so this is how uh, you uh, perform functions so there is a common mistake which people do they just delete this line let's say and they just write here give me hello print give me hello without this then definitely it's not going to work so it is giving me an error because uh, this is not how it works man so a lot of people do this now we can write like this so it will return hello but without uh, this parenthesis you might not be able to run your code and it will give you an error so let's say uh, let's make another function to check whether a number is even or not okay so let's say def even check and we pass a number here because this time we have a parameter now let's print uh, I'm checking if this is even okay and what is this here to format and we'll pass the num here okay so I am checking if num is even okay and after that let's print if num module 2 so this is how you will check if that number is even or not module 2 equal to equal to 0 so if it is 0 then it's even otherwise it's not so don't we don't need actually an if statement here so that is something amazing about it so now we'll call this function even check and we'll pass let's say uh, 13 okay so now let's run this program and we can see I am checking if 13 is even and it is false so it is not even and let's say it's let's give 12 and now let's run so I am checking if 12 is even yes true so this is how we write functions okay and let's say uh, let's write a function that will greet you okay so hello you is the name of the function and now let's pass name is equal to here is the default name okay I am giving a default name and what I will return I will return hello or whatever his name okay so hello and let's say name is you can also root, uh, write here uh, that uh, what we do what we say uh, formatting here okay so it's just your wish you can use plus sign or you can use formatting oh i just skipped colon here that's why it's giving me an error and now i'll say result is equal to hello you and i am not passing any name here 
okay so print result so what i am trying to tell you is that if you will run this code then you will see hello default name so i this is the uh, parameter which is optional if i want to give it then it's fine if i don't want to give it then it will take the default name let's say i gave it a name which is pavan okay now let's run this code and you can see hello pavan okay so it's totally my wish whether i want to give it a um, parameter or not okay so let's move to um another function okay we have covered so many functions so let's see uh what we, this function will do it will add two numbers okay only if they are even okay so add only even okay so i'm saying that only you have to add only even numbers and let's pass this two numbers num2 okay now what we will do we will also define its doc string okay so what i'll say i can just delete this which is oh shit so python <laughs> this uh, basically this id giving me this uh, so i i can write here like input i can tell the uh, person that what it is fun what this function is all about so that if someone reads my code then he should know that what this function do although it is clear with the name but it might not be clear so i am saying that input two numbers and output will be false if both numbers are not even okay then it is false the sum if both numbers are even okay so we will find this sum only if both numbers are even otherwise it is not gonna give the sum so if num1 modulo 2 is not equal to 0 or num2 modulo uh, 2 is not equal to 0 then what we will do we will oh sorry we just we will return false okay else oops we will return num1 plus num2 okay so what we are doing here we can say that we have a function if both are even then we will add otherwise we will not add so let's say by apna ego I have another so this is all about ego so let's pass one comma two one is even and one is not and let's print x okay so this is our function this is the uh, let's let's add uh, even in you know, uh, even numbers as well so add only even let's pass two comma two and let's print that as well so print y okay so this is our good function so let's run this code and you can see the result false and four so when it was one and two one was not even then it returned the false and then again it returned the four because it both were even oh so it was all about functions here so now um we will talk about lambda expressions so you won't always need a full blown function of one you will use just uh, you will just want to use a function only once in some of these cases it makes more sense to use a lambda expression and also known as uh, anonymous function so let's say we have a function times two okay but what it will do from the name it will multiply the number with two okay so let's say it will return num into two okay fine okay so uh what i could write here like uh, print times two and number we can pass four and what happened is that when i run this it will multiply it by four four into two and it will return me eight okay now i can skip this function and i could write what i can write 
is lambda lambda num which gives num into 2 okay now now this number now uh, let's just remove it from here and uh, what we can do we can have something like uh, uh, answer and we can paste it here like filter so um, so let's just uh, take one more example before moving to this because it, it might confuse you if I will use it directly so to really understand the use case for this we need to introduce so basically we'll uh, use lambda like this okay you got the idea so let's say we have a list again okay and it has some items like 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 okay we have eight items and let's say we are saying even pool num return if it is even or not okay so num module 2 is equal to is equal to 0 so what it is doing let's say we want the even numbers from the list so what we will do evens is equal to filter we can use this function filter by we can pass the method name here and we can pass the list here okay my list so this is and now we can print list of even okay evens now what it will do it will go to the list and will check the function evens even bool to see which numbers are even so 2 4 6 8 are even now let's do it by lambda function just remove this method and what we can do we can write here lambda lambda num colon num modulo 2 is equal to is equal to 0 comma my list okay and it should perform the same thing 2468 so this is the use of lambda function it can be a one liner thing for small functions okay which we don't want to reuse again so all right you should now be ready for your <laughs> uh, practice and you can practice this and there are some methods also like lower upper those all things keys pop push which we already covered in uh, in my strings video or list video so you can check those and this is all about functions although it was very tiring but uh, i know uh, it uh, is very easy once you will write some code so that is all about this video and uh, we will move the move to object oriented programming in the next video so thanks a lot guys and do subscribe the channel like the video thank you